We're not gonna have a lead character for this battle. Or is he gonna be like stuck down there with Adele? Cause I have a feeling a battle's coming, regardless. They are psycho cultists. I really don't think they'd. Good thing he fell down into it, this cave. Man, that's a shitty rescue party if you've been stuck here. Good thing, you know, I have my armor. Let's make amends. That's not really how you make amends. A life for a life is not really necessarily the right idea. Especially not if you're doing the right thing. It's different if it's like an unrepented killer. But if you're trying to make amends, you probably shouldn't do that. Uh, maybe getting stabbed in the back would be a little preferable. Why are you sworn enemies all of a sudden? There we go. Don't be a butthole. You could really explain it and do yourself a fucking favor by saying that. Yeah, don't be a coward, dude. Careful, she knows fire. She might set fire to the rain. Gotta be careful. 
Dude, come on! You saw the guy cast the spell. Let's be serious here. That's something you should remember. Yeah, like that would happen. If your entire country is embroiled in a war, there's really nowhere safe that you can go. Maybe that island where all those relics were, if you could survive there. Oh man, an adult got eaten by monsters. Can you guys keep the castle safe for like a day? That would be great. You apparently have like one of the better fortified cities, but your castle people can just break into. Or it's just a cutscene. Yeah, I, I know. I've pressed buttons. Thank you. I know it's a month later. GHQ, General Headquarters, Garrison Headquarters. I mean, if you can conquer a third of the country in a month, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're your enemies.
Yeah, I mean, really, at this point, it'd be better to provoke East and West to fight against each other until both nations break down, and you be the one that abstains from fighting. More people and more refugees would come to you. You'd, you'd eventually have a higher standing army count than the other two, and you could reserve your troops. We attack neither. Or you just cut them off. You don't ever really have to, like, win wars by troops or numbers. Like, if you can prevent them from manufacturing, you can, or trading, you can pretty much completely halt them. To help. I mean, uh, there's some questionable stuff that goes into this. Alright, shop. Let me guess, you've re-updated. It's been a month later. Nope, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. I know there's a new dagger, but it's really not that much better. So, I guess nothing's upgraded. We'll see if there's a new staff. I could get him that, it might be worth it. He doesn't have a fire skill on this ring rod. So that might be worth it. Just remember to, you know. Uh, yeah, while well, I'm at it. Can we get some more Magi books? That would be fantastic. Apparently not. Transfer so I don't screw up and have Prato Pratal be worthless again. Paralyzer is not that good. get that saw. It's probably like some hidden secret thing I was supposed to get, or who knows. 
Well, anyway, I should have just enough time to do one more battle. Let's... Save state. Zebu Island. Yeah, this is gonna be a long journey, dude. Yeah, attack by pirates. Ship to ship combat. See, it really doesn't matter how many people you have on your ship or, you know, how powerful the people on your ship are. Like, ship to ship combat can end pretty poorly pretty quickly. Is this gonna be monsters or something? Keep it erp. It looks like Thuggeth. Two flying thugs, two flying thugs. Two more flying thugs. Actually, let's do this. Let's move Lyra over here. Move you over here, and then... You swap with him. There you go. That should be good. Although, I mean, really, at this point, I can just defend two. Ah, oh, there's two sets back there. Is there another set over here? No. Let's just. Let's let them move in. I wonder if I could block make on the ocean. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. Yep, figured you'd go there.
Yes, come up here. I mean, normally I'd consider it not a good idea to use, you know, fire magic on a ship. Just, just kind of put that out there. Well, let's see. Ice strong? No. They're, they're not strong versus anything. Let's move you right here. And we can double ice blade. Yeah, that's fine. Come on up and hit people. Double kill? Yep, looks like it. Not very good pirates. Or at least pirates that weren't really expecting this. Let's see where this jerk off can move to. I'll probably move right there. So how about we have you... Yeah, right there. And then we'll sweep him up next turn. Well, next move. Ugh. Oh, they're both facing this way now. Oh, I can actually see Balloon Bomb. Interesting. Let's do that. <laughs> That's a really pitiful amount of damage. Could dragon fire both of them. Might kill one of them. Let's just do that. I mean, they're all nicely arranged. It's very polite of them to do that. Almost. Probably would have done more damage, just regular attacking. Yeah, you guys make your way up here. Won't do you much good, though, because I'm pretty much shitting all over your cereal. That hurt quite a bit. She's not in the best shape. Let's see. Yeah, they really can't hit anybody. Should always move up onto the ship. Oh, <sighs> 
good. These two winged jerk offs will die rather quickly. I could heal. Probably should heal him. But I don't think anybody can even hit him, so I'd rather just kill these two butt wipes. If they survive, I still have another freeze rain. Or whatever it is. Just mowing him down. Not even normal, just just ripping him to pieces. Now let's check their move areas. Yeah, they might try to hit him in the back first. Let's just move him away, because I'm pretty sure Death of Hero is the end. Right? Yep. Nice try, Saka. Alright, Lyra, let's move you away. Let's move you over here. Then I'm just gonna magic bombard them. Yeah, I should be able to hit both. Have some solid state. Oh, yeah. 
The monies, the monies. Although, we are getting close on time. Yeah, I think this will probably fill up the rest of the time, this cutscene. Ooh, fancy place. Yeah, I mean, if I were Central Natra, I would not take it. Looks like his country is going to fall. So he's basically going to intentionally ruin the nation so you can rebuild it. I mean, that's kind of a good idea, I mean, to sacrifice yourself in exchange for the country to be built up stronger. Makes a lot more sense than being like, I will never give up. Doom the Thunder. Come on, Minia. You can do it. Let that report get out. Ah, uh, yeah, 
more pinch and close up time. I mean, I kind of want to get through, but I know, like, the next battle, and then getting there, and then I'll want to go up to this place. I mean, it's kind of nice that there's just this little cut right there. Oh, apparently there's actually a timer on this map. I guess it's always on the map, it's just not noticed. It's where the Zabu Island is gray, I guess you just can't go there. Like Byron Retreat or the Hideout. I wonder what that place is down there. I guess that's just like some southern empire. But, I mean, if you consider central, I mean, if they control, like, up into here, up to Yagor, that would mean that there's a cutoff of the next country. That would mean that, yeah, because there's the mining prison, all of this would be uh, east, and then just this little bit would be west. I just don't know how far the... I think Luxar is west. So, I mean, that would mean somewhere, yeah, because the railroad, East Railroad, Yogor Station. Yeah, but that was all east, and now it's not. But I guess this little area had its benefits from the north. You think they would make a good deal making the deal, so that way, either way, the Twin Moon or Twin Empire or whatever would win. Twin Moon Empire. Thinking of some completely different game. I don't know, I'm just thinking strategically. I mean, Central Natra would be better to... I mean, cutting them off is a great idea. I mean, there's not much. I mean... We haven't seen their capital yet. Sadie Town is definitely not their capital. Whereas... Yeah, I think Yagor is East's capital. So, I mean, if Yagor is East's capital, I wonder how much of the railroad we took. But, I don't know. I That's the one thing I like about Growlancer and stuff. You can actually see, like, the colors of where the allegiances are. I mean, unless this is part of East, but I highly doubt it. But, I mean, uh, being a close trading port, you think it'd be so easy for them to get supplies from across the ocean. Basically cut it off. You could start a raid like over here in this small patch and then just have all of this as like another trading route if shipping doesn't work. And then all you need to do is pinch off here, pinch off here, and pinch off up here. Like anywhere up there in between the borders. And then you'd essentially be able to control the country because everything would just fall apart inside. None of the empires would be able to sustain themselves. I mean that's essentially what they're doing here but without getting help from these guys or cutting off East Natra's ability to do anything back here. But I don't know where exactly everything is. And I thought one of these was like the capital. But I guess not. But it has to be like, it has to be like part of this river. Because I remember they had to cross the river. Yeah, because we started, like, right... No, I thought we were... Maybe we were down here, and then we walked up. I don't remember. It's been a long time. But, I don't know. In the next episode, we'll figure out our seabound voyage. That'll be tomorrow. Uh, figure out our seabound voyage and head to Fort Dantes. Maybe make it to Chapter 3? Who knows? But, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I thank you for watching, and I will see you later.